Hello everyone, welcome to Speedway Motors Tech Talk. I'm Joe, and today we're here with Wyatt, and he's gonna tell us about some new cylinder heads that are pretty darn cool. Yeah. What are they? So what we have here is a, an original GM 461 casting. So these are often referred to as the Fuley head. So these debuted on the, the 61 Corvette with the Rochester fuel injection. So that's why they're called Fuley heads. So this is the first iteration of GM's double hump cylinder heads. There's many different versions of those. But what we've done is we've taken the external look of it mm -hmm. and turned that into an aluminum casting. And so these new aluminum castings are visually similar to the, the GM 378 2461 heads, but they have many improved features that are a great option in, instead of rebuilding an original set of heads. So they're really perfect for your, your muscle car restoration or you know even your vintage race car or even a nostalgic hot rod build. You know, that's kind of been the thing for years. You know, you look under the hood of a muscle car or you look at a hot rod and it's got double hump heads and it's like, whoa, you know, that's a hot rod small block. And so that's cool, but these, these are better. These original heads, they weigh 42 pounds a piece, bare. Uh, our new aluminum versions, they weigh 20 pounds a piece. So right there, that shaves 40 pounds off the nose of your car. Right. Also, the nice thing about aluminum is they radiate heat better than cast iron does. So you can typically run a little bit more compression on pump gas mm -hmm. uh, with an aluminum head versus a, a cast iron one. Right. So typically, you know, half a point, maybe even a full point in some instances. And other than just being made out of aluminum instead of cast iron, there's a lot going on inside this head that makes it better, right? Right. So there's, there's two main areas where these will outpour, outperform a original double hump head. The first is in filling the cylinder. So getting the air down into the cylinder more efficiently and that creates mm -hmm. torque, essentially, right. right? So the new heads have an improved port shape, and so they have a 180cc intake runner versus 160 intake on the original heads. And also, they, the, the new heads have an improved short side radius. So if you look at an original set of 461 heads, the floor of these heads is very flat. And so what that does is it creates a very sharp turn for the air um, mm -hmm. at the right angle bend down to the valve. Right. That's not good for flow. These new heads have a raised floor, and you'll see kind of a ramp mm -hmm. in here. Yep. And that actually directs the flow better at the back of the valve. So you'll also see the texturing around the valve guide itself. Mm -hmm. And that actually increases velocity by eliminating dead spots right. behind the valve guide. So the, the second area where these, these are better is, um, and the main the main power production area is in the, the combustion chambers. So you'll see on these, these new heads, there's, there's ample quench area. Mm -hmm. So what that means is it pushes all the mixture into the combustion chamber itself, uh, again, for a faster burn. Also note how on the new heads, the spark plug is closer to the center of the combustion chamber than on the original heads. Right. And so what that does is the, the closer you get the spark plug to the center, the, the flame front is better mm -hmm. throughout the cylinder. Also, the spark plug is closer to the exhaust valve. And so what that does is, again, helps the flame front from the hot exhaust valve to ignite the mixture. And so those are the, the main areas where these will outperform uh, an original set of heads. And what's the valve size on the new aluminum ones? So the valve size here is, is a 202 intake, 160 exhaust. Mm -hmm. So most of your 461 original castings came with a 194. 150 valve. Mm -hmm. um, some of them did come with a 202 160, but these do have a bigger valve. And with these, you'll get a three angle valve job. And so what that does is it, again, helps the air transition around the valve. So you'll get great flow at, at low to mid lifts, especially. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's not hard to find a performance aluminum small block cylinder head. The problem is they all have billet looking, milled on the front of them, you know, high tech looking stuff on them that looks really out of place on a period specific car. You know, these, you can kind of sneak into an old hot rod or an old muscle car and they'll look right. Right, exactly. So they share the same port locations as an original set of heads. So, you know, your factory intakes, your aftermarket intakes, um, exhaust manifolds, et cetera, will, will all work. Mm -hmm. Just like the originals, there's no uh, bolt holes on the end for your accessory drive. Um, you'll also see the double hump castings are very similar. Also, they have a raised valve cover rail. So the assembled versions actually have a tenth of an inch longer valve. Mm -hmm. and so you have to use, and a, and a bigger spring, so you have to use roller rockers um, on the assembled versions of these heads. Right. And so when roller rockers come into the equation, you usually have to run a taller valve cover. 
which is maybe not something you want on right. your vintage looking engine. So we've raised the valve cover rail here so that you can run roller rockers with an original set of Corvette valve covers on top of it. Mm -hmm. So keeping the, the theme of your, your right. vintage looking engine. And like you said, we offer a bare casting as well as an assembled version. Right, right. So the assembled version comes loaded with all modern valve train components. So it's got 3 8 inch screw in rocker arm studs. Um, it's got push rod guide plates, positive stop valve stem seals, so for better oil control. Mm -hmm, right. it also has hardened valve seats, so you can use it with unleaded gas. So all of these things would need to be added and machined on an original set of heads, which right. really inflates the expense of, of these heads. So really when you look at it that way, there's a lot of value in, right. in these new heads versus rebuilding an old set of heads that have questionable history. That you probably had to overpay for at the swap meet. Probably, right. right. And the cool thing is we've got a lot of other stuff too to dress up the rest of the engine. Right, so we've, we've got everything you need to fully dress it in that early 60s look. Maybe you're building a L76, a 365 horse 327, or maybe you're building a, a 350 horsepower L79 327. We've got all the accessories to fully dress those engines. We've got the finned Corvette style valve covers. Mm -hmm. That'll work great on these heads. We've got the, the two and a half inch outlet exhaust manifolds, the Corvette style ones. We've also got the alternator brackets to bolt these up to the manifold and the head. Right, since there's no accessory holes. Exactly. And then also we've got this really cool L79 style air cleaner with the dual snorkel. These are super cool. I can't wait to put these on an engine. I'm already scheming on what we can put these on. Thank you, Wyatt, for telling us about these. Yeah, absolutely. And thanks to everybody for watching.